Hey y'all, it's Cindy Cobb with Around the Town in the South and I am in Bellsville, New Mississippi. I am in one of the best restaurants in the state. It's called Allison's. They have steak, they have all kinds of food and they're about to have, host an event that I'm excited about because I was born and raised here until I was 10 years old and my parents now live back in Madison, Mississippi and when this project got going and I'm going to let Mr. Doug Turner tell you about it in just a few minutes. But when this project got going, my parents were excited about it because they got to donate for this sign and leave a legacy for their parents. So thank you so much for joining me today. This is Doug Turner. He is the chairman of the Bells on a Welcome sign, welcoming sign that they have just put up. It's uh, like the original one that they had. You're coming through Bells on, you're going to see it right in the first red light. So Doug, thank you so much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. So tell us a story about how this, um, I guess, fundraiser, we're going to call it, for the sign came about. Well, the, initially, the interest started uh, about four years ago, in the spring of 15, 2015. And a lady by the name of Melba uh, Berger uh, Williams, uh, she was a burger when she lived here in Belzona, uh, Melba Berger Williams, is... Uh, Wrote a, she started writing columns for the banner, mm -hmm. the, the local uh, Bells on a Banner weekly newspaper. Mm -hmm. And one of the first ones was on the Bells on a Welcome side, mm -hmm. which there were three of uh, at different areas coming into the town uh, up until about, I think, 30 years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I was a kid uh, in the uh, 50s, the 40s, 50s, 60s, uh, everybody loved the sign. They, they, they spanned the road, which uh, means you drive under them. Oh, wow. Which, uh, and they were lighted. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, they were made of different materials back in those days. Mm -hmm. But uh, she did this, and, and there was a, a website called, that she started called Memories of Growing Up in Belzone. It's a Facebook page. It's a Facebook page. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, at, 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 when I got on it, there were about 14, 1,500 members. Mm -hmm. And I uh, just made a post. I said, hey, look, if y'all want to sign, if, if we got 1,400 members here. We get a few bucks from everybody. We can raise quite a bit of money. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that, that didn't work that way. <laughs> uh, we, we wound up with over, a little over 200. Uh, don people who donated, right. donors, and you know all various amounts. But, but anyway, that started it. Mm -hmm. So that got the enthusiastic of, uh, enthusiasm up, and I you know, and, and I started posting, and then I started looking into uh, pricing mm -hmm. and, and who could do it. And I didn't know anything about right. what I was doing. Right. <laughs> but anyway, we did that for a couple. You know, we went back and forth a couple of years, and I, I found some people who could do it, but. Uh, we didn't like the price or whatever, and it drug on. We had delays and uh, bureaucratic stuff, and uh, uh, just drug on and on for a couple years. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was at the Catfish Festival one year, just had a booth, just see if, if people were interested. And uh, uh, a local person, uh, uh, Bubba Braswell. Uh, Denim Bradford's son uh, uh, came by the booth and he knew I was working on the sign deal. He said, look, before you go any further with the sign, or you need to talk to this guy. Mm -hmm. And he had Mark, Mark Kemper with him. Well, Mark turned out to be our contractor. Oh, wow. And uh, I, I went to see him uh, after that cafe festival, which was two years ago. Uh, we got a, a price in that scared the heck out of us. <laughs> so Mark lived in Hernando. I live in Nashville. Mm -hmm. So I called, uh, he gave me his card, you know, when I was him in Belzone. And uh, I called him up and said, Mark, can you meet with me? If you, you, I know you, you know about this type of uh, LED lighting and, and sign work. Could you talk to me for you? So I drove to Hernando. Wow. Uh, made an appointment with him, met him, and we, we hit it off. And uh, long story short, uh, over a two-year period of time, we wanted to, he didn't want to do it at first because right. he was too far away. 
Oh, really? And uh, eventually he came around. To, and he did do it, and he did a fabulous job. Uh, Mark Kemper with Velocity Incorporated out of Hernando. And uh, uh, so anyway, in uh, six months or so ago, I forgot to get time. Uh, it escapes me. But we started the fundraising. I, was it last six months? I don't know what it was. Anyway, it, it started off good. Uh, and we, uh, we knew we had a, a, a one potential donor. Right. A big donor. Mm -hmm. uh, my uh, family, the Turner family, we, we have a uh, reunion about every year or so. Mm -hmm. And at the reunion, we always get a call from Larry Gordon. Yeah. Well, Larry is, he produced Field of Dreams, Die Hard, and all that. Bells on a Lady. Right. But he, he's, he was out, out the Turners and Gordon were like this. We live across the street from each other. Right. And all of us were boys. And uh, my brothers and him and his brothers were all close. Anyway, he would call, and we'd all pass the phone around, talk to him for 20 seconds. Right. Go to so many people. Right. So he got got to me, and, and he knew I was working on this. And he and, and he said, he said, Doug, when you get ready to do the sign, call me. Y'all y'all call me, and uh, that's what we did. We knew we knew he would. So he had given five thousand to the B.B. King uh, Museum. Museum. Mm -hmm. It's on the wall now at B.B.'s. So I, we knew, I knew that. Right. So I had that, I said, what is, we call it Gouda. <laughs> G-O-O-T-E-R. That's what I've known him all my life. But uh, Larry, uh, we didn't know what, it, I didn't know what he was going to do. Right. And, and we knew it was probably more than five, okay? Mm -hmm. So uh, anyway, we started, and we, we started really nice, and, and we knew it was uh, about time to call Gouda <laughs> and uh, see what he wanted to do. And uh, uh, John, my nephew, who's on the uh, committee with me, uh, called him, and he he gave us 20000 Oh, wow. And we, we needed about mid-50s. Mm -hmm. So that was huge. Uh, and the banks gave us uh, five each. Oh, wow. But when when Gouda did that, I knew we were, we could we could we were probably home free if we could uh, do the fundraising long enough. And, and then uh, a few weeks later, or a week or two later, John got a hold of uh, Reese Powell. Mm -hmm. oh. His father was a longtime superintendent, basketball coach for for Bells on High School. And, and he's done really well, and I, I, I'm sorry, I don't remember the name. He owns all the Proceniuses. Okay. He, he, he started the Proceniuses yeah, in okay, um, okay. the Dialysis Center. My daddy goes right. to one three times a week. Fantastic. Well, he's a great guy. And John, he, I think he lives in Boston right. and spends time in Germany and right. all over the world. And, uh, and Reese gave us 10000 So. We we're really home free then, right. but we we wound up. I mean, we had great participation, and uh, and everybody's excited. Well, I know that um, you can't do anything without the Texas Village, and like you said, a couple of the hometown guys who had either lived here or they had affiliation here stepped to the plate and donated to their hometown, which I think is an amazing story. I think it's awesome because when you pull up and you see that sign, it almost gives you chills because it takes you back. It takes me back to when I was a little girl and I rode up. You know, that's the first thing you saw was that big sign with that heart lit up. And um, I know that a lot of the people in this community has donated money for this sign also, right. which we, we want to thank them for that and give them accolades because it, it takes the love of something to get something done and to bring it back. And let me say this, I know there's a lot of pros and cons about Facebook. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, they're under scrutiny and, uh, you know. We love yeah, Facebook. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah it's, <laughs> it, it's a big time positive and big time negative. Yeah. But the, the positive, this project could not have been done without Facebook. And the connections. It brought, it brought all the old codgers like myself <laughs> and, and uh, people I haven't heard from in years on that webpage. Right. And uh, the page and, and, and Melba's columns in the banner 
worked hand in hand and right. for four years. Uh, until Melvin passed away uh, last year. And uh, she was the inspiration for all of us. Well, she was one of my mother's good friends growing up. And I've often heard my mother talk about stories when they were growing up and things. And so um, we love her. This is a, leg a legacy that she started that will live on forever. And so, like you said, you know, take somebody to be inspired and motivated enough to get things done. And then just the connections. And we love connections, the Facebook connections. And so tonight we are here. They actually erected the sign one day this week. What day was it? Uh, it's been up uh, about a week. Okay. About a week and a half. So there is that, but they're doing the, they're doing a um, little open house at six o'clock here at Allison's. And then at 7.30, we're going to go down. They're going to light the sign up for the first time. We'll be down there. I'm probably will be live, but I'm so excited to see this come to fruition. The hard work and love, even my parents who lived away 30, for 30 years and they came home, it was so important for them to be involved in this to help get this sign. And not just, you know, my parents, aunts, uncles, cousins, everybody in the whole community. So we thank them for giving. We thank them for what they did. We thank Allison's for, for having this event tonight. If you've ever in Bellsville, Mississippi, got to come downtown. You've got to have a steak here at Allison's. Also, um, the Dairy Bar, the Bars at E. I still call it Dairy Bar. <laughs> Pop in there. We want to thank them for letting us um, have this vlog here in their restaurant. It's beautiful. Stop in on your way through. This is a great place to stop. So, we will be showing you more things as the night goes on. I'll be taking pictures. So, look for that. Look for us doing the lighting of the sign. Thank you all for joining us. We couldn't do this, but I wanted to have a vlog with the chair and, and one of the members and Grew up here, saw the sign, and was so instrumental in, in helping get this done. So I thank you for joining me today. Is there anything else that you want to add? Um, no, not really. Just uh, if you're in the neighborhood, come by and look at it. <laughs> and if you're if you're from Bells on the Mississippi and you don't know about the Bells on the page, it's Bells on the Memories. You can, you know, all you gotta do is write it there on the top, and you'll find it, and you can start connecting with everybody. And that's kind of how this came came about. So y'all, thank y'all for joining us. We couldn't do this without our sponsor, North Park, Mississippi. It's the mall, the new North Park Mall. They have renovated, awesome place to go shop, eat, take your kids. There's so much going on. We want to thank them for hope for- One quick thing. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we're still taking donations because we're going to do other things. Oh, okay. And, uh, and we, we've got a circle, so uh, we're real happy with that. With that page, is there somewhere you can go donate on that page? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if, yeah, if, yeah, the Bells on Members, but yeah. On the Bells on Members page, if you want to go on there, there's still donations because there's still things they want to do in the town. And I'm sure there's there, there's got to be a description or information on there. So check it out. If you have any questions, Doug is on the page. You can yeah. inbox and message him. He will answer you back, and then you can go from there. But, y'all, we thank y'all for joining us, and we'll see you around the town. This place, but I remember the sign. So I'm excited about getting this sign. It's beautiful. Right, the heart of the Delta. You're about to flip the switch. Yeah! <laughs>